Okay, folks, thanks very much for joining us. I'm going to sh show you how to tie on on the brooch, a salmon fly brooch. So an ideal gift for Christmas time or birthdays or just a wee present. So the brooch is arrived like this. It's basically, it's quite a large hook. The, the point is, is covered. And you've got this little pin that comes out. What you need to do before you tie on is you'll need to extend the pin out a little bit so you have some space to tie on. Okay, so... Again, protect your face. So putting this in, you can damage both the face and the hook, just to say that. What I do is I just get a wee bit of cloth, you can do tissue or whatever, and just poke that in before you secure it in. And actually ready to tie your fly. Okay, so um, the fly I'm going to be tying today, just to keep it simple, nothing too adventurous, is just a, a regular gold cascade. Okay, so first thing we need to do is add our thread onto the, the main body, the main shank. Okay, and the gold cascade, the tag, and the, the rib is going to be gold oval. So I'm just going to put that on the side, run that up. Okay, and I'm going to just run the thread up to where the pin bends. I can't really go any further than that there, but it'll give you a bit of a bend to get a nice tag in. And I'm going to bring my thread back up to where, it, where the shank levels. And just touch and turns. I'm going to create a nice tag with gold oval. I don't worry too much about durability for this kind of fly. Um, there'd be no fish at it. So you wouldn't need to like, well, you could furnish it if you want, but I'm not going to bother. Okay. I'm just going to secure that in. Just always watch that pin. Wouldn't take much to cut off your thread. Okay. I'm going to cut off my excess. I'm just take a handful of it. Okay, now then, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add on the tail. So the tail for this is, as always, it's a mixture of orange and yellow bucktail. And as I said before, and you've seen several of my videos now, I actually pre-mix that and pre-stack that to save a wee bit of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off an amount here. Again, my flies are always quite... Um, lightly dressed, but for this, because it's a brooch and it's going to be on somebody's hat or somebody's coat, you probably want to overdress it a little bit um, just to make a nice, nicer attraction to it. Okay. So, again, up to yourself what length you want to use. And again, the face aren't going to see it, but I'm probably going to make it, yeah, about one half of the shank or whatever it's going to be. I think I'll bring that thread down. And bucktail's a bit shorter than I would have liked. Not used to tan on a hook or a brooch this size. So whenever you're tan on the bucktail, just make sure you don't put too much pressure on. Just enough to hold that down. Because if you do pressure, then that's where you're going to splay up the tail. And again, this is because this is brooch time being very fussy here. See a wee cut in there, then I'm going to remove the tweezers. Okay. Now then, I said I haven't put too much pressure to secure it down, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use super, super glue on thread to help secure it in. And just bring your thread down the body. You can have a taper if you want. Tally up to yourself. Okay. So then the rear half of the body is going to be gold tinsel. So I'm going to use um, flat braid. 
going to tie it on the back of the hook. The reason being is at the brooch, so nobody will see the back. If there's any wee bumps or anything like that, you might as well have it at the back. Okay. And then I'm going to put another wee bit of super glue on my thread as I wind this up. And this is just to help secure that in. It's nothing about durability, it's just in case it slips. I'm going to turn it on. Okay. Um, so this flat blade takes the shape of whatever the, the body is. So it's ideal for this kind of brooch. Okay, and just about the halfway mark, I just passed the halfway mark, I'm going to cut that off. Okay, um, then for the, the front of the body, it's going to be just black floss. So what I do is, I'll take a single strand of floss here. And double it up on the bobbin. And tie it back. Okay. And then I'll also need to rib this. You don't I don't normally rib the um the flat bed, but I will need to rib the floss else it might slip. So I'll put the rib on underneath and then go on back up. Okay, and um, where I'm going to stop the body, or basically the main body, is basically the head's going to come before the catch of the pin here. So I'm not going to go right up to the eye here. So you'll notice that it uh, stops quite early. There's a reason for that. Okay. And just put on your floss, touch and turns. Secure down a couple of turns. Then I'm going to cut off the excess. And I'll follow up with the rib. So I'm just going to do one, one turn just at the start. And then a couple on top there. And again, secure that in a couple of turns. And we'll cut off our excess. Okay, so this is where I'm looking at this and I'm thinking something's missing. There's no flex in the tail. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wee bit of flex in on the underwing. Make up for it. It is quite a flexy brooch anyway. So we've got three strands here. I'm going to double them up again. And they're going to sit underneath. And then I'm going to just Cut those to about the end of the hook. And then for the wine I'm gonna use black black fox. So again I'm gonna have it a wee bit denser than what I would normally have, just makes a nicer approach. No face will be seeing this. And as always I take off the the longer guard hairs. And then the big clump underneath the under fur, and you can use that later on if you want to for another fly. It'll make nice dubbing. Okay. Probably still too large a piece there.
Voilà. I'm gonna put this on top. This will extend to probably the 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 end of the body there. I'll be catching and just use a pencil loop. And I would normally secure it two turns before I even think about removing the excess. There's even four, just to be safe. Okay. Bit fiddly whenever it's on the brooch. <laughs> Try not to damage that catch. Super glue on that, just where it's compressing down. Okay, very happy with that there. Okay, so I'm gonna have a couple of hackles. So, the first hackle is gonna be. It's a bit longer than the front tackle, it's, it's yellow. What I do is, you've seen this all before, is I just break off the tip and expose a few fibers to create a V. And then I rub my wax on the thread and tie in at that V. And then pull the fibers back and continue to tie. That gives a very, very secure hold. Then I just chain the fibers to point inwards. Okay, and then just start wrapping. We're going to go for three, three wraps of each. Can be a wee bit overdressed if we want, as I said before. Off your excess. Try and neaten up a little bit where possible. Okay, and then a wee bit more wax on the thread there. Then I'm going to take my next haggle, which is um, hot orange, a bit smaller than the last one. Break off the tip. Expose a few fibers to create a V and tie in at the V again. Pull it back. And then start training those fibers inwards. Double it back. One. Two. Three. So 
this time then I'm going to tie on top of the stalk and then pull the stalk back. Just make sure everything pointing forward. So you're finishing up now, everything pointing forward is pulled back and tied. And then we'll tie that off. Um, if you want, you can use jungle cock. Not going to bother, but I have a few brooches here. And if I would, what I do is I take out the eyes and I actually furnish them. So then, if they do, so they won't split. And I don't normally furnish them for fishing, but if you're going to use them for a brooch, you want them to. They look nice, but um, splits do show. The face don't care, but if you're wearing them in a, a coat, you'll want them to look nice. <clears throat> okay, so then we just need to start building up the head, if you haven't already done so, and then whip finish off. And be very careful when you're whip finishing. Just watch that um, little catch at the end there. And then I'll give that, as always, I'll give that a coat of super glue and two coats of varnish, and that will make a nice gift for somebody at Christmas time. Okay, as always, folks, if you find the video useful, please do hit that like button below. Drop us a wee comment if there's any questions or anything I got there, and if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.